To many people, being an online coach is literally the dream job. You can travel wherever you want and literally just be working from your laptop. You have the freedom to lay out your day however you want, all while earning a decent income. No wonder you've got all these gurus online trying to sell it to you. So is it all what it's cracked up to be? In this video, I'm gonna tell you. And let's start by putting some context on this situation and why I actually wanted to be an online coach. You see, fitness all started for me when I was around 14, 15. I was too small to play rugby. I was a bit of a late bloomer. So I didn't really have my growth spurt yet. And I was like, do you know what? If I actually want to play rugby, I need to be getting bigger. So what I did, I trained hard. And sooner yet, I then started back playing rugby when I got to sort of 17, 18. And I was just a bit of a different player. Bigger, stronger, quicker. My game had literally just transcended. That's mine. I got selected to then play for the England under 18 counties team. I then also got injured quite a bit. So I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna use rugby as much as I can to travel. I wanna see the world, I wanna go meet new people. And that all started with then going to New Zealand. Did loads of cool stuff, met loads of cool people, came back home, then went out to Portugal. And this is when my epiphany took place. At the time in Portugal, I was playing full-time rugby. The only issue was I wasn't earning that much money, so I couldn't really utilize all this free time I then suddenly had. Not to mention my love for rugby was suddenly declining due to the injuries and just the lack of competitiveness I sort of had towards it. This then meant I needed to define something that was fulfilling, that gave me purpose, but also helped me earn money. And this is then when I decided to come back to the UK and focus on becoming a PT. A whole year later, and I decided to turn my parents' double garage into a gym. And this is where I started to film and post content, as well as more importantly, start to train people. And after training people consistently in here for two years, I started to build some traction online. And that is when I suddenly started doing a lot more work from here than in the gym. <sighs> Fast forward another two years, and I am now an international art thief. Don't tell anyone. But on a serious note, two years later, I am now a full-time online coach. I've only recently packed in doing face-to-face -face sessions for now, just because it's hard to manage the workload between both, and I want to pursue more with online coaching. So what does actually my day look like? Well, I wake up around eight o'clock, have a pint of water. I read 30 minutes of the book I'm reading. I do one to two to three hours of online coaching work, depending on if or how many check-ins I've got to do, form reviews and messages. I then will look to go to the gym during the middle of the day when no one is really in the gym because most people are working. However, staying in shape kind of is part of my job as you kind of don't really take financial advice off a broke person. I then tend to spend the afternoon creating content, which is very much a creative process. And sometimes the ideas come straight away and it literally takes you half an hour to film or and inside all of that, I tend to fit in breakfast and lunch, of course. That seems pretty good, right? So let's talk about the downsides. You see, being a 26-year-old extroverted alpha male, spending all your time in your room, is quite a bit of a sad existence. And if you found being in your home all day during lockdown hard, try being an online coach. Now precautions can be taken for this and I'm very fortunate enough that my parents and my brother own a business where they have an office. So I tend to actually go out there most days and do all my work to try and separate my home life and my work life. It has found help quite too and it's just nice to see some other humans. One thing you also need to be aware of is that the majority of people who are not business owners will always call you a part-timer. You see, a lot of your job Seems like you're just chilling. But what they don't realize is this is constantly working. And this is one thing that the business gurus don't tell you when they're trying to sell you that amazing lifestyle. It's how when your employed friends are taking annual leave, going on holiday, and are simply just solely focusing on enjoying themselves, you probably won't be. Because you'll probably find yourself still worrying about your business, how your clients are, how are your finances, and probably projecting the future quite a lot and that tends to come with a lot of stress and also quite a lot of anxiety sometimes and something that I very much learn is you know when people say you know do something you love and you'll never work a day in your life bullshit you work 24 7 so that leaves the question is it worth it absolutely because for me a life of fulfillment and achievement and overall happiness outweighs all of the lows and look 
the money's not too bad. If you're willing to do the work, you can earn a pretty good living. Let's just say it's becoming harder for the people around me to buy me birthday presents. But the one thing that I want to leave you with is that if you wanna be an online coach for the lifestyle and the money, don't. You are not gonna work hard enough. Because what really gives me the fulfillment, the achievement, the want to get out of bed in the morning is seeing people like Angus, like Owen, go through brilliant lifestyle transformations and see them stronger, fitter, more confident, and just show them how much fitness can transform someone's life. And yes, you will be rewarded well for it. But for me, you've got to have the right purpose. So on that note, don't be a dick.